So he's prominent, he's powerful, but he has a problem that his position cannot deliver him from. So the only way he can get his deliverance is that he has to seek whoo, deliverance from the man who is more prominent and more powerful than he is. Man, I'm preaching. Y'all ain't helping me here. Watch this, brothers and sisters, because man's understanding, notice I say understanding. I didn't say man's wisdom. Man's understanding will tell you that if you act strong, then that makes you strong. Lord, have mercy. Look at your name. Say that violates biblical principle because my Bible says if you ain't tore it out, that when I'm weak, that's when he He's really, come on, help me in here. And I wish I had about five or six folk who can say, uh, you think I'm weak, but I'm really strong. You think I'm crazy, but I'm really strong. You think I'm out of my mind, but I'm really strong. At the end of the day, I don't care what I have not attained down here. I'm still strong. Woo! Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this. Keep your Bibles open, keep your Bibles open. Because an entitled position does not make you an exempted person. I don't care where you are in life, you will never be exempt from problems. Get how much money you have, your position on your job, you will never be exempted from pain or problems. Ask Herman Cain. Okay, 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 okay. Godfather's pizza. <laughs> Rich. More money than he can wave a stick at. But he contracted the coronavirus. And when he was hospitalized, the doctors didn't have time to figure out, work on, or to consenter on the idea that he was rich. They were simply trying to save his life. And when his life ended in the hospital room, that's when they discovered that I don't care how much money you have in your bank account, when God dispatches the death angel, ain't nothing you can do about it. That's why you have to make sure that you have your business in order. Preach, boy. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this, watch this. He's prominent, he's powerful. He has to pull because of his position. But his pull and his position and his power can't prevent him from personal pain, Pastor Wilson. So watch this, so watch this. Jesus, Jesus is talking to him, but Jesus knows who he is. Ooh, y'all, we're gonna put a pretty tie on this thing in just a minute. Jesus knows who he is. <laughs> watch this, y'all, watch this. Jesus knows who he is. And this man, this prominent man, this powerful man, this, this, this uh, man with pull and position who expresses openly <laughs> who he really is. How do you know, Pastor Dawson? Here's point number two. Watch this. Personal limitations should never be ascribed to a limitless God. Preach, boy, I'm trying to. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I said personal limitations should never be ascribed to a limitless God. Here it is. You have to be careful not to allow carnality to occupy the space of spirituality. Preach, boy. I said you have to be careful, Reverend. Edward Carroll uh, not to allow carnality to occupy the space of spirituality. Pastor Dawson, where is that in the book? Where is that in the book? I'm glad you asked. Uh, verse number 48, Jesus says, except ye see signs and wonders, uh, you will not believe. Lord, in other words, you need to see. You need a visual proof. You need to see. Lord, have mercy. I pity people who have to see everything. I pity folk who have to see it, Lord have mercy, who have to see everything, Lord have mercy. I pity folk who can't allow God to close their physical eyes so that he can open up their spiritual eyes. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things you cannot see. So look at another neighbor and say, boo boo, everything ain't for you. You ain't supposed to see everything because if you've seen everything that you would think you was God, but since you couldn't wake yourself up this 
morning since you couldn't start yourself on your way you can never be God that's why Paul in the book of Ephesians describes God as a mystery he's a mystery I'm out of here I'm out of here I'm out of here I'm out of here y'all working me too hard watch this Watch this, watch this, watch this. You need a visual. You need visual proof. You need visual proof. And so watch this here. Watch this. Look at the text. Look at the text. Look at the text. Jesus seems to negate this brother's petition at first speech. He came to him. He was begging. Jesus, listen, I'm in a position. I'm in a situation. I need you to come. I need you to come. I, I need you to come. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Here it is. The man is on the brink of a breakdown and Jesus is saying that your belief is tied to your breakthrough preach what I said the man is on the brink of a breakdown anybody ever been on the brink of a breakdown uh, and, and Jesus is saying that your belief is tied to your breakthrough Jesus knew this boy had a belief problem uh, watch this here watch this here and so uh, Jesus uses as he talking to the brother he uses the plural your which simply means that this brother was in some company so Jesus seizes the opportunity to not only help him but to help everybody in his nearby proximity Lord have mercy somebody can testify that when Jesus shows up Jesus shows up and he passes out many blessings and so when God blesses you he just not blessing you just for you to sit on it but he's blessing you for you to get up off of it and be a blessing to some watch this I'm, I'm trying to baby they ain't saying nothing watch this watch this watch this watch this watch this your breakthrough is tied to your belief this brother had a belief problem. <laughs> why, 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 do you, why do you say that, Pastor Dawson? Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Because it's almost as if, <laughs> almost as if that he, he, he relied on his prominence, his prowess, his position to get him over the hump. <laughs> Jesus cares less about your position in the world he cares more about your position in him why do you say that pastor dawson here it is because if your position in him is right then you are in best position in the world to promote him lord have mercy i said if your position in christ is right then your relationships with everybody else should be right lord are you in here because you can't say you can't say you love jesus who you ain't never seen did i just say that and you can't get along with folk who you see every day you can't worship with folk on your when you come to church you got to sit on the other side of the church because you're mad frustrated upset busted and disgusted and Jesus is saying you need to get off of your spiritual soapbox quit being so mad quit being so angry you don't have to look on MSNBC CNN or Fox News to wonder that you don't have time to be wasting time and so I'm out of here I'm out of here I'm out of here so his belief is tied to his breakthrough. Jesus is talking to him and he says, in essence, when you read the language, master, come quick, come quick, come quick. I, 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 I hear you, but I don't have time to talk to you for an, experience, an expended amount of time. I just need you to come to where my boy is and healing oh man can y'all sense the attitude the, the 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 unmitigated call for him to be talking to the savior i mean this same jesus who turned water into wine this same jesus who gave deliverance to the woman at the well this same G are you serious that you can talk to the master the, the creator in such a fashion that you treat 
him as he uh, is a second hand man. Lord have mercy. Here it is brothers and sisters. I don't care what kind of position you hold. I don't care how many people are under your umbrella on your job. Even the head has to look up to the head. Even the head has to respond to the head. Even the head has to report to the head. Lord have mercy. I don't care how much I am the pastor of the New Providence Baptist Church aka the place of power. I still have a God to serve and a God to glorify. So your Lord have mercy. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. My time is almost up. Watch this. My time is almost up. Watch this. So the man is on the brink. Jesus, I need you to show up. Come quickly. Move quickly. Come. My son is going to die. Woo. Watch this. <clears throat> Point number three. Let me give them to you again. An entitled position does not make you an exempted person. Personal limitations should never be ascribed to a limitless God. But thirdly, woo, the word is always greater than any worry of this world. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I said, the word. <laughs> Y'all come with me. Is always greater than any worry of this world. Come with me, if you will, to Matthew's Gospel, chapter 8. Another Roman.